All right, I just wanted to give everybody a few talking points to really think about whenever you're getting into the beta if you're not playing this weekend and you're going to be playing the open beta next weekend. So firstly is going to be the movement. You either love it or you hate it. A lot of people say that it feels clunky and it doesn't feel good and it took way too long to develop something that feels this way. Honestly, I think it feels great. Everybody I've played with thinks it feels great too. I think sliding's a little weird because slide canceling isn't a thing anymore. Honestly, I think they could just remove sliding altogether, but it still feels good. Whenever you first start playing and you're not used to it, I definitely understand how it could feel kind of clunky. Or if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, I, I'm sure it's pretty difficult. I haven't played on mouse and keyboard, only played on controller. And uh, it takes a little bit to get used to, but after a while, it just starts, you start to get a feel for it, and it isn't any issue at all. I mean, I, I think the majority of people actually enjoy the movement. It makes the game a lot more enjoyable. You don't you don't really realize how useful it is until you start playing. So altogether I think the movement's pretty good. Obviously you see all the clips of people diving around and everything, but really in game that doesn't happen too often. Most of the time it's not it's not happening. But another thing, if you are playing on controller, um Apparently, they just removed close-range aim assist altogether. They didn't really say why they did it. They didn't They didn't say what the requirements for that is, what the distance for it is, or anything like that. And it makes a lot of sense because whenever I first started playing Friday, the I was like, do I have aim assist off? Because it was just so weak. But it's just something to think about. Another thing is going to be the guns. <laughs> if you've seen any gameplay, all you see is the jackal. And obviously it's the best. I mean, that's what I'm using in this game. I've seen a lot of people use the XM4. Uh, it's, I mean, I haven't used it too much. I think I have it at level 2. So, honestly, I, I can't say anything on it. To me, it feels like it has so much recoil that it doesn't even make sense to use it. A lot of people have been using the AK. I haven't used that either. I think it's a level 4 or something. I've gotten maybe 10 kills with it. Uh, people say it feels amazing. It has a super fast TTK. Uh, I've been using the Ames 85, and that's by far my favorite. I mean, it feels like a straight laser beam. You can shoot people all the way across the map with it. And I, I have it at max level. <laughs> and that's what I've been using, that and the Jackal. And it's by far the best, in my opinion. Uh, the shotguns, the well, the one shotgun that's in the game, I haven't even used it, but I get one shot by it all the time. The C9, the MP5 variant, uh, I tried to use it a little bit at the beginning and level it up, but then the Jackal just took over, and I mean, that's what everybody uses. But the C9, I mean, I've seen people use it, and they, it has about, it takes four bullets to kill somebody. I really think most guns are viable. But obviously the Jackal's the current meta. It's what everyone's using. But you can use other guns. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Now we'll get into the fun one. The maps. Dude, these maps. <laughs> it seems like everybody agrees that Skyline is the only good map in the beta right now. Which, we were supposed to get six maps for the beta. It only started with three. They added a fourth one yesterday. And that was a uh, rewind. It's, I don't know. It, in my opinion, is su such a big difference between Skyline, Derelict, and Scud that you go to that map and it feels like everything's just the game's being played in quicksand. It, especially TDM. Hardpoint's not bad on it. Uh, Domination's not bad on it. But TDM and Kill Order just seem so slow on it because it's. It's by far the biggest map, or the longest map, and it takes forever to get from one side to the other compared to these other maps where you're literally spawning on top of other players. It is crazy how many times you can get spawn killed, especially on Derelict. Derelict, I hate it so much. A lot of people don't like Scud. and I, I mean, I get it. Uh, you got the satellite with the absolute nastiest head glitch ever. Uh, 
and it's so hard to get people off of it. I mean, if somebody's using a sniper or good with an AR, you're just going to get fried every time you even try and get close to them. But I don't really mind Scud too much. I hate Derelict. It feels like it should not be a 6v6 map. Um, a lot of these maps honestly feel like they were made for 4v4. And we're just playing them for 6v6. Like, they do not feel like they were designed for 6v6 at all. Um, maybe that'll be different with the other maps that come out. I'm pretty sure another map should be coming out here in just probably an hour or two. Um, but I'm not too sure. I don't remember what time it, the other one dropped yesterday. It may already be in the game. But um, Kill Order kill is pretty good. I mean... It's like TDM with extra steps. The game feels a little bit slower, but it, it can be fun. Um, I know that they have already fixed a few things in the beta. I mean, I feel like people are being really hard on it for it being a beta, but they already fixed one major thing from Friday. There was no audio. <laughs> like You could not hear people's footsteps. On Scud, you might as well take off your headset because you're not going to hear it anything which it's sand and i think that's the biggest part about it but all day friday you could not hear people's footsteps at all and uh i i think they fixed that with an update they claim they had an update for the audio um and i mean i hear people more now on the other maps so I think they actually probably did it. I mean, it's not great unless you have your audio cranked up. You still can't really hear any footsteps unless somebody's like super close. But there's so many times that somebody runs up behind me and you'll never even hear them. Which, I don't know if Dead Silence is going to be in the game. It's not in the game yet. But as of right now, you wouldn't even need it. Because unless you just turn up your audio all the way. The perk system that's in the game, they, they seem alright. Um... My only complaint is that there's not attack mask. Like, I'm so tired of getting flashed and stunned that... Why is there not attack mask? There's nothing you can do against flashes as of right now. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> but maybe that's just uh, me wishing it was back to old COD where you had attack mask. Um, another thing people have been talking about is the maps and, like, how dark everything is. Some people have said they've had problems seeing people. Um, I haven't really had that issue, it, except on Derelict. It's really hard to see people in there. Um, probably just because if somebody's using a dark skin, they just blend into everything. But people have been saying how awful the maps look. And, I, I mean, I get it. it <sighs> Treyarch's known for their bright colors, not their dark colors. So, what do you do about it? Um, I mean, they only gave us three maps at the beginning, so... Who knows what the other maps are going to entail. But I just want to give everybody some advice. Let them... Everybody should make their own opinion. Play the open beta. Figure out how to play the game. Play, Put some hours into it. See how you really feel about the movement. And uh, see if you really want the game or not. But a, a lot of people seem like they have enjoyed the game so far. Besides just the absolute haters. But I don't know. Maybe the haters were right. Who knows. I have been streaming the beta the entire time, so if you want to come watch it and hang out and ask some questions, see some actual gameplay. Uh, I've been taking people's recommendations for loadouts, running all pistols, running AK every once in a while. I mean, people give me their builds. If you want to come hang out, see what the game's about, and uh, get some actual feedback before next weekend, uh, feel free.